BYU senior linebacker Isaiah Kafusi, fresh off BYU's 10th win of the season, a victory on his senior night over San Diego State, joins us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Isaiah, first and foremost, congratulations on a win and the 10th of the season, man. Pretty incredible. Thank you. Yeah, just a special team. We've got something special going and uh, just excited for the bowl game. There's a lot to be said about uh, the mentality that BYU had coming into that game based on just the understandable, massive disappointment of losing at Coastal Carolina. What was BYU able to do as a team to get right mentally and take care of the Aztecs? Yeah, I think we just uh, went back to the basics. Um, Kalani had just encouraged us to kind of go back to the fundamentals of the game. And um, we we worked hard during the week. Um, we practiced hard. We lifted hard. And uh, we, we kind of just went, went back to ourselves, um, you know, the dancing, having fun, smiling. And so uh, that was kind of what, you know, we were encouraged to do. And I felt like we did a, a good job uh, last Saturday night of executing. Uh, it wasn't pretty, uh, especially on the defensive end. But, uh, you know, we, we held them to 14 points and, and um, you know, gave our, our team a chance to win. Um, at what point did you uh, feel like you were playing on Lambeau Field? Yeah, it was, uh, especially, uh, you know, that, that kind of that south end zone and that area was just frozen. I mean, you, you go back and watch the film, guys are kind of like skating around out there. You know, we obviously saw it with the quarterback trying to run, you know, on that fourth down. And, um, yeah, it was that just that, just that, you know, 20 and in kind of that red zone area was just frozen. So um, can't, can't imagine what those guys, you know, the Packers feel like. Is that the coldest game you've played in in your career? I think it is. Yeah, I, I mean, growing up in Utah, I played in you know in the snow. I'd, I'd much rather have it snow actually during the game. It feels warmer for some reason. Hmm. Um, that was probably the coldest game I've played in though. Isaiah Kafusi with us on BYU Sports Nation. The Cougars have a matchup with UCF in the Boca Raton Bowl coming up on December twenty second. How do you feel about a trip to Florida pre Christmas? In a state that BYU has never won a football game, Isaiah. <clears throat> That's interesting. Didn't know that. Um, really excited about the matchup. Really excited to go to Florida, uh, the humidity, the warmth, uh, and to play a great team. I mean, UCF's a great team. They've got a great quarterback um, and, and should be a, a big challenge for us defensively. Um, really excited to just play one last time um, and, and really kind of prove, again, who we are. Uh, what what we're capable of. And so really excited about the matchup, excited about the game, and uh, very gracious for just another opportunity. You guys zoom in on one game at a time, but what this one game means is the differentiation, in my opinion, between when the, the zero and one loss BYU teams are in a different category than the two loss teams. That's a, that's a – there's a line between them. So what you're playing for is uber meaningful, and you have a chance to finish potentially – I don't know, 10th, 11th, 12th in the AP poll. So it feels like there's still a lot to prove. Do you guys feel that in terms of, okay, if we win this game, obviously it means a lot beating UCF, but what it means for this season in the history books? Absolutely. I, I feel like uh, we want to cap this thing off the right way. Um, what we've done this year is just incredible. Uh, it's absolutely special. Um, I, I wish that there was kind of some – you know, access to, to before we even were, you know, this summer, I mean, this last summer, we didn't even know if we were going to play. Um, we're out there practicing and we just see teams leaving our schedule left and right. And um, so, yeah, what we've done is just incredible and so special and uh, really proud of the guys, really proud of the team. Um, but this death, this game definitely means a lot. And I think we want to end this season the right way. Um, and, and we want to just continue to prove those those doubters uh, and those people who kind of have that question mark around BYU. We want to prove them wrong. And so, uh, great opportunity this week, or I guess you know this this upcoming game. And uh, really excited to just you know get out there play again one last time with the guys. Isaiah Kafusi with us on BYU Sports Nation senior linebacker Isaiah. Let's just ask you the question: Did you play your final game at Lavelle Edwards Stadium on Saturday night? <laughs> Great question. Um, still, still, I'm thinking about it, but I, I'm pretty sure um, that I have. Um, just there's just so much going on, and, and well, my wife and I will obviously continue to talk about it and, and figure it out. But um, 
I think it's time to move on. I'm ready for the next chapter in my life, uh, wherever that is, whether that's the NFL. Um, and if that doesn't work out, then I'll just kind of move on and start taking care of my family. But uh, just, just man, that was an awesome win uh, in Lavelle Edwards. Um, but yeah, who, who knows? We'll see. The, the decision hasn't yet been made 100%, but uh, we'll see where it goes. Does that depend on feedback you get back, or is it more than that? <clears throat> Uh, no, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think, um, I think regardless, I, I, I'll just give the NFL a shot. Um, not really looking for feedback. I'm just looking for, uh, just you know, just that feeling of to to see if it's the right thing to go. But I think regardless, I'll be uh, ready to just move on and kind of ready for that next chapter. What was it like to play in the final game with Zach Wilson as well at home? Man, yeah, that was awesome. Um, because he, he's, he's, he's gone. He's <laughs> he's gone. Yeah. I know I know he's kind of, you know, thinking the things through and, and trying to see, but um, you know, I've seen how the NFL can bless your life and I've got cousins. Um and it and it truly does, it, it changes your life. And so uh, whatever decision he makes um will be a good one. And and it'll be probably the best one for him. But man, we're just very grateful to Zach gave me. I ran out there on on offense the last play of the game. I wanted to finish. Um, oh, I didn't realize that. In victory formation. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, I went out there. I asked Fessy if I could go out and uh, took the last snap with Zach and, and Lopini and uh, Neil. And Zach handed me the game ball, and uh, we embraced each other. Just, man, just a special kid, special team, and very grateful that I'm part of it. That's pretty cool. Uh, and he wore a lay after the game, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I think you don't wear a lay if it ain't your last home game. So that, that was cool. And I say, I, I think back and we've been talking, right? You guys are sitting there practicing. You're ready. Tom Holm was telling us before the season, listen, I don't know who we're going to play, when we're going to play, but we're going to be good. And we were like, oh, please, let's go. The fact that you guys played 11 regular se season games is just incredible. And the fact that you win 10, it's the first 10 win season since 2011. I know Kalani mentioned that in the post game uh, in the locker room. That was a big deal. Like this, this was going to be a special season your senior year, no matter what, you'd make it that. But obviously in a pandemic and winning and everything, it was this this was awesome. You you wanted that one more yard at Coastal, obviously, but it's still a very special year. How would you summarize your feelings about all of this? Yeah, it, it's really tough for me to um try and verbalize kind of those feelings that I have. Um just the adversity that we've gone through. Um, all the trials and just the different things that we've had to face uh, year in and year out, whether that's, you know, COVID related or not, or injury related or not. I mean, it's just the, the group of guys that we have in the program, they're just incredible. Um, we're all fighters and, and we're all just, you know, we, we look the adversity dead in the eyes. And I, I think that shows um, kind of uh, uh, gives credit to Kalani and kind of the coaching staff and the culture that they've, Finally, you know, the, the culture, everyone has bought into the culture that Kalani has been trying to preach for the last you know few years. And uh, that, I think that's the difference maker. And the program is headed in a direction that's just, it's just incredible. Uh, you know, we're getting guys, uh, great recruits coming in that will continue to, you know, embrace this culture and kind of the legacy that we've started and <clears throat> um, really excited about the future and kind of the future of the program and football in general. Isaiah, let's finish with this. What type of urgency do you and your teammates have heading into one last ride against UCF in Boca Raton? Yeah, lots of urgency. Uh, I, I think um, we left a lot of plays out on the field Saturday night that we wish we could get back. Um, and, and so I think just another chance to go out there to, to execute better, to play better. Um, this will be big, big for the program. Um, you know, when we end our bowl games on a win, there's just something about it that just kind of catapults us into the next year, um, specifically looking at, you know, the Idaho Potato Bowl. Um, after that win, I mean, it was like full steam ahead into the off season, And um, that then looking back at the loss at, at Hawaii, you know, and kind of how that affected the program, I think this will be big for the program and kind of catapulting us into the next season. And so, uh, lots of urgency to, to win this one and uh, definitely want to want to go out with a bang. Um, and so really excited about what we can do uh, come, you know, the 22nd. 
Hey, let's flip the script in Florida, huh? Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma for BYU to go and get that first win in the state of Florida. Love that. Love that. Appreciate it. Isaiah, congratulations on an amazing career and an amazing season. We look forward to watching you play against UCF. Thank you.